The project given to these Sydney teenagers earlier this year was daunting. It was a roller coaster mission sometimes. To make the active ingredient in a drug called Daraprim, created decades ago to treat malaria. No, it'll come out the bottom. Especially daunting when you consider they're still in high school. We had to spend a lot of extra um, curricular time, such as like before and after school, even during lunch. But eventually that extra time paid off when their teacher showed them a vial containing something special. And it was definitely dis disbelief at the start, but it turned into joy when we realized we actually made the thing we were looking for. Daraprim is also effective in fighting a parasite called toxoplasmosis, which can be deadly for people with compromised immune systems. Last year, Turing Pharmaceuticals announced it was raising the price of Daraprim from $13.50 to $750 a dose, a more than 5,000% increase. The company's former CEO, Martin Shkreli, explained the reason for the hike on Fox News. And now with a higher price, our Turing Pharmaceuticals, the company I worked at and was founded and the CEO of, uh, that company can afford to invest research in, in that disease state, toxoplasmosis. But experimental chemists at the University of Sydney were skeptical. It just seemed like a pretty extreme price hike. Um, and of course, no one can be sure what the money is going to be used for. So through an ongoing partnership with Sydney Grammar School, they asked the students to recreate the drug. Because if young boys can show that it's possible to make this in their high school labs very cheaply, um, maybe this would get people to start a discussion on this issue. The University of Sydney chemists point out that investing in research is important and can lead to higher costs. That's why they say they operate on an open source system where work is shared online to find cheaper and more effective ways to create new drugs. Martin Screlli actually congratulated the Aussie students on their work, saying in essence that they're living proof of what the 21st century economy will accomplish. The students say there is a lesson to be learned from their achievement. Even these, com these compounds, which you think are like um, only accessible to these large, um, large scale companies, are actually able to be like, accessed and produced by ordinary citizens. Even if they are still in high school. Greg Navarro, CCTV, Sydney.